Greetings friends and subscribers and welcome to the 24 days of Beer Mass. And today we're going to be trying this Samuel Smith Winter Welcome Ale. And it's actually the 2019 to 2020 edition because it'll help us remember Christmas in the past. So Samuel Smith's Winter Welcome Ale weighs in at 6% alcohol by volume. Winter Welcome is vintage dated on every bottle. Uh, with a special label each year, first shipped to the U.S. in 1990. And uh, this one celebrates the 30th Winter Welcome Anniversary, which was in fact the first of these imported seasonal beers in the United States. So now one of the best part, Julie's going to crack open this bottle and we're going to give it a taste. Uh, and while she's doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brewing process that they use to produce this particular beer. Um, that process is called Yorkshire Squares. Uh, and Yorkshire Squares is a unique fermenting process that originated in the north of England. They originally used like stone vessels to do this brewing, followed by slate, and more modern ones are made of uh, stainless steel. Um, but basically they take this process where they add the yeast to it and everything, and then there's a separation process where so the yeast will go up to the top, uh, it's held at a certain temperature for, you know, several days, and then they basically drain that all off, and you just get uh, you know, kind of a unique beer out of this process. Uh, if you want to know more information about that, just Google Yorkshire Square and it'll talk all about the unique uh, aspects of this uh, brewing process. Yeah, the fermentation is, uh, seems really interesting. Yeah, multiple stages. And honestly, it results in a pretty impressive looking beer. Uh, this is an, almost a reddish amber color. Yeah, these are, this is, uh, it's like a, almost a honey amber. And uh, yeah, it's a nice color there. It's got a nice spicy nose. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is really nice. Like a, like honey and clove on there. Maybe some ginger or uh, something it's, like that. It's very winter, it smells very winter seasonal, uh, spicy, like uh, pumpkin pie and apples and, and cinnamon and clove and all those brilliant smells that you get um, over the holiday season. Uh, it's definitely pleasant. It's got a very pleasant taste. Mm -hmm. I can see this as a nice beer to bring people together. Yeah, so hopefully Julia will like the taste too. Uh, I like this one. I think it's quite nice. Oh, that is really nice actually. I wasn't sure about it because it seemed like it was going to be a thick ale, but I find that it, that it is really... Um, Deceptively light. Yeah, it is really deceptively light. I find that it even has a bit of like apple pie flavoring to it. Yeah, I maybe, don't know if maybe you like that, the, but. there's like a slight fruitiness or cinnamon notes that, that's in the spice notes. I can see that. But it is, this is really nice. That's um, very tasty. We got this bottle at Total Wine here in Maryland. Available nationwide. You're probably looking at somewhere around for this half liter bottle. It's around five dollars so definitely worth uh purchasing so I don't it's know. very nice and i've seen while well, we've been out as well 20 the 2020 2021 <laughs> bottle as well out in the stores so you could probably have one or the other you could do the past or the present so so merry <laughs> christmas and happy holidays and uh we look forward to the next 23 days absolutely cheers cheers <laughs>